Julian Assange is one step closer to extradition to the US on charges of espionage. He's currently held in Belmarsh Prison, from where he spoke to his wife this morning. I had extreme anxiety. I asked him if he had slept. He had not slept. Um, it, it's very difficult. What are your fears about what could happen should your husband be extradited to the US? He just won't survive it. That what has been done to him over the years will drive him to take his own life. And that is also the conclusions of the doctors who have examined him. You have a young family. How do you cope? We see him about once a week. And I, I try to protect them from the, from the uh, extreme monstrosity that is going on, what is being done to their father. Assange's supporters say his activities amounted to nothing more than journalism, which had embarrassed the United States. In 2010, WikiLeaks published a leaked cockpit video from a US military helicopter as it shot dead more than a dozen people, including two journalists, in Baghdad. Later that year, they published hundreds of thousands of classified US military and diplomatic documents. But then a Swedish court ordered Assange's arrest over rape allegations, which he has always denied. Facing extradition to Sweden, Assange jumped bail and took up refuge in Ecuador's embassy in London. The Swedish case was eventually dropped, but with the US also seeking his extradition for the leaks, Ecuador revoked his asylum and he was removed from the embassy in 2019. Did the Home Secretary really have any option other than to sign the extradition order? In this case, she really didn't. There are four reasons set out in the Extradition Act why she could refuse to extradite somebody once the courts have decided that they should be extradited. One is whether the death penalty should apply, which didn't uh, um, affect Mr. Assange. The other three are technical, but they had no application whatsoever to his case either. Assange's lawyer says they will continue to fight his extradition. We will be appealing against the decision today, both in respect of the Home Secretary's decision and in respect of the court's decision in relation to his ability to get a fair trial in the United States, the free speech concerns that are raised by this, uh, the abuse of process, the political nature of the case. Today, former Brexit Secretary David Davis agreed that Julian Assange would not get a fair trial in the US and said the extradition treaty with the states needed to be rewritten. Carl Dinan, News at 10.